And I have to say, you're one of the lucky few who have achieved success on the very first try. Oh, that just goes to show how great a team we make. Right, yes, great team. We make an awesome team. We also need to ensure that Miss Didi has her regular prenatal visits. Mm -hmm. And counseling too. My name is Roger Zofime. I'm from Delta State in Nigeria. Um, I'm a graduate of Terra Arts from Obafemi Olo University, first degree and master's in University of Ibadan. Um, apart from that, I've, got a couple, I've, done, I've been at a couple of um, conferences and workshops, um, film-related conferences and workshops in South Africa and um, in Canada and in the US. I'm, I'm a total filmmaker, um, but I love to refer to myself as a creative producer. I, I just don't talk money, I just don't talk logic. logic. I talk creative, I talk creativity also. I am a producer who understands what creativity is and I also understand what, I also understand what, um, what is needed when it comes to planning and when it comes to production process from the first stage, from the first time you say, okay, I want to do this, to the last time you say, hey, it's a wrap. When a mere building becomes a root of evil, a source for generations to break and drift apart. You don't give strangers information about it. I started this business when I was six years old. Um, started with a group Never called Young Colanots. We go, we go about, um, um, it's a group of young kids, and what we do is just stage plays um, for, adults or young people and then from there I got picked up by some local FA who, who then trained me to be an actor and I did that for several years until I said to myself you know what this is what I want to do and I went into the university um, for my first degree in theatre arts, majoring in, in directing and, and film and television and then also um, my masters. Um, yeah so I, I would say unofficially started when I was six years old but officially started it started um, over 15 years ago. Whoa! There is so much to look forward to now. My, my own baby. I, I would say that I've, um, so far, I am happy that I've, been, that I've been a part of the growth and success of television and fame in Nigeria. Um, not to blow my trumpet, but I would love to say that Roger Zofimi, me, um, is the first producer who's produced a multi-cam studio-based daily drama series in West, East and North Africa. Um, you can check the records. Um, multi-cam studio-based drama series started in South Africa for a very long time but the first time it started in Nigeria I would say I am the producer who um, with, 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 with a group of people got that um, started in 2007. Of course, working under some executive producers. But we got that started in 2007, and um, Tinsel, like, Tinsel, like people would say, actually gave that to um, the new innovation of, of television, as, as it were. Um, uh, it, was, it was different from what has been seen. It was, um, a lot of people said, no, it was being done in South Africa. And we had, we had difficulty convincing them that Tinsel is a proudly Nigerian project, just studios there in Ojota. And I mean, we did that. I mean, I was there, I, was, I did that for um, a couple of seasons, five seasons or six seasons before I left. And um, when I left, I also pioneered, I also pioneered Mnet's very first telefilm series, where I was an executive producer for 80 movies in season one, 60 movies in season two, and 40 movies in season three. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> I would say that um, it's never one man's effort. Um, we've got a formidable team, we've got a strong team, creative minds. I mean, there are people that I've worked with um, that, I can, that I can never let go of. Um, Roke Oshinjobi, um, Uche, 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 Achilles Uzo, Eric Osaya, I mean, and Telio Mogbaye, a lot of other people. We, we work tirelessly to ensure that we set the pace. Um, so what we do is, as producers or as managers, we ensure that the process of production, from planning, we spend quite a lot of time planning. We spend a lot of time in the boardroom. You would assume, or you would wonder, what's a producer doing in the boardroom? We do quite a lot of boardroom thinking. We spend 
hours and hours and hours, days and weeks and months in the boardroom before we execute any project. And we, we, we ensure that we also follow the process of production. We know that we need, we need we, this needs to be right, that needs to be right. We need to have proper, we need to have proper meetings with our departments. We need, we need to have proper locations. We need to have good set dressing. We need to have proper departments. All of this process culminates to make, to make, to bring, to bring the success. I mean, to make the success that we see that we call production. Break and drift the bomb. You don't give strangers information about uh, piracy. Is a very sensitive topic, and I mean. I'm not running away from discussing it, but I, I think that so far the approach, the approach um, for curbing piracy or for nipping it in the bud has been, has been wrong. Um, I'm sorry to say that, but I also would not want to come here and say, oh, I've got the solution. Because um, it happens everywhere. It happens everywhere. You shoot a, you shoot a big budget movie, um, the guys are waiting to just milk you. Even in America, America, it happens. You know, you, you release a movie, you go, go, on, go on the internet, you find it there. You release a movie, you go on, you go on, um, I mean, your movie is just sitting there and it's being watched free. So it's not, um, so it's not just a Nigerian thing, it's not, a, just, it's, not, it's not just an African thing, it's something that has been there. But I think that so far our approach, to, our approach towards it in Nigeria has been, it's been wrong. Um, do I make movies? Yes. Um, I, I, was part of a, I was part of a big budget pro, uh, production, big budget feature film. I'm tied to the Loi Buri, um, which is going to be released sometime in August. And um, what have we not released so far? I mean, we we shot, we planned that project for one year, one year pre-production, and a month and a half of shoot. Um, so over two years we shot the movie, but why have we not released it? We're trying to see how we can deal with it, with the issue of piracy, um, put them on abroad. But we have said to ourselves, look, I don't know. I mean, nobody seems to have a solution right now. But what have we done? We have, we have, we have tried to, we have tried to create, we have tried to create something that we feel would work. We cannot stop piracy. We cannot stop people from pirating. But we can, we can at least minimize it. We can reduce it to the barest minimum. I mean, you shoot a movie with three million dollars, and then you're wondering, how do I make a hundred thousand dollars back? It's crazy. Um, but we're trying our best and seeing if it works. Then, then we probably have found a template that everyone would follow. Oh, there is so much to look forward to now. My, my own baby. How many people want to spend so much money on an indigenous movie that probably will not be able to go beyond the shores of Nigeria? You also want to look at the business opportunities that are, that are in writing, I mean, that would be, that you, that, that you have in, this, in, in making that kind of movie and what is the what is the future of the, of movies like that? It's going to be nice. I mean, I would say that the likes of Iba Tugun, they did it very, they did it successfully. Baba Salah, yeah, Baba, yeah, Baba Salah did it successfully. Indian, exactly. The Indian films we watch today, they have been successfully produced locally, you know. But then again, you look at it. Um, how many of our movies would go out to India, and India would want to watch it? We have not been able to say this is what we need to do to ensure that as Indians export their movies and we sit down and listen to the beautiful music and dance to it and we don't even know what they're saying. We, are, we can also take our products, export them to India and India will sit down and watch a beautiful Yoruba film or a beautiful um, Igbo, Igbo film or a beautiful Hausa film. Have we gotten to that point? I, I, I don't know but I would say, I would say yes, we, we can do it. But again, like I said, um, which producer would want to take that risk? Maybe none for now. Anyway, Doctor, will that be all? Yes, Brenda. Congratulations once again to all of you. I am extremely happy for you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you for um, everything. The first thing I will say, I will never forget this. This is what I, this is what I, this is what I use. This is what I survive on. If your dreams are not big enough to scare you, then don't go into them. Then there are no dreams. You must, I mean, you must dream big. You must be scared of that dream, then go for it. Two, never, ever, ever, ever forget that God is involved in your business. Full of animosity. You'll never see me again. Okay. Breathe. And put your money into something solid and you get it back double. You sold my 
Jealousy. Are you upset that I get to be the favorite brother? The intention. Will it end? Some things can't be fixed. All of you no get set. 